Now, once we're done with some of those examples, let's try the other way around. So let's say now you have the shaded region given. And what you want to do is you want to find out what is the set that represents uh, this Venn diagram. Okay, so let's let's see how we can think about such questions now. So in this case, you have this part shaded, you have this set N shaded, but some part of it is uh, not shaded. So most of it is shaded, but some part is not shaded. First of we understand that N should come somewhere. However, N is another condition that we cannot be inside M. Wo wala part humne exclude kar diye, that is inside M. So we can say N and, so remember and ke liye kya use karte? intersection, N and not M. Not M is M complement. So we can say N intersection M complement. That, that implies we, we have to be in N and not in M. So inside N and outside M. All right. Let's think about this part. So we have uh, this shaded region. We have to represent this as a set in, in set notation. So first of all, if we think about this shaded region, uh, and that is that this is something that is common between B and C. So it's got something to do with uh, the common region between B and C. So what does common region between B and C represent? That is B intersection C. But is it all of B intersection C? Because B intersection C ke andar to ye wala part be included hota, right? But that is not included in this case. So let me erase that part. That is not included. So what is that additional condition that we can add to this set ke ye cheez exclude kar de. So this is basically part of A. That means ke A ke hume bahir rehne. We have to be outside of A. Outside of A, that means A complement. So, we have to apply condition. Apply karni hai. So, and A complement. So, we have to be inside B and inside C and outside A. That's what the set represents. Now, if you order matter, nahi karta, that's totally fine. You could write it, for example, like this as well. You could say A complement intersection B intersection C and that would have been uh, totally fine. Let's think about this thing. Uh, so it's very similar to uh, the first part above. So we have to be inside P but not uh, in Q. So we have to be inside P and outside Q. Inside P is P and outside Q that is Q complement. All right. Let's think about this thing. So uh, this is the shaded part. So first of all, we are inside A, that is given. We have to be inside A. But you see, any part of B is not shaded. A wala jo, A ke andar jo part B mein aara tha, that is not shaded. And similarly, the part C mein aara tha, wo bhi shaded nahi. So we can say A intersection B complement, intersection C complement, right? Now, of course, there, there, there could be multiple ways of uh, representing a shaded region in terms of a set notation. For example, in this case, you can also say that everything that's inside of A and the second condition is we have to be outside of B union C. Right? B union C, B or C, if we combine it, we have to be outside of So we could say B combined with C, we have to be outside of B. We have to be outside of it. So that's a complement there, right? Let's think about this. Uh, so again, we are inside A, right? We are inside A, but outside of B. So inside A and outside of B. Now, since B B is a subset of A here, uh, it's it's a, it's a bit different from what we've been seeing before. Uh, like in this case, maybe the same logic applies. If we are inside A and outside B. So we'll say it's A intersection B complement. And let's look at this last example. So we have this shaded region now, and we have to represent this in the set notation. So what we can look at here is we can see that 
इट्स ओनली इन साइड सी सी के बाहर वाला कोई भी पार्ट नहीं है राइट सो वी कैन स्टार्ट फ्रॉम दैट वी कैन से वी हैव टू बी इन साइड सी ठीक है सो इन एडिशन टू दैट सो सी एंड समथिंग एल्स देखते हैं और कौन सी कंडीशन इसके साथ अप्लाई करनी है एंड वी हैव टू बी इन साइड ए और बी सो एटलीस्ट ए और बी में से एक के अंदर होना चाहिए सो so, हम ये कह सकते हैं कि ए और बी को अगर कंबाइन कर दें तो उसके साथ सी का क्या पार्ट कॉमन है राइट सो सी तो हमने लिख लिया ऑलरेडी अब सी का सिर्फ वो पार्ट जो या तो ए में आ रहा है या बी में आ रहा है या दोनों में आ रहा है सो so, वो कौन सा पार्ट इसको क्या कहते हैं दिस इज बेसिकली ए यूनियन बी सो इसका इंटरसेक्शन विद ए यूनियन बी दैट्स गोइंग टू रिप्रेजेंट This Venn diagram here, कि A union B को A और B को अगर कंबाइन करें उसका क्या चीज उसमें क्या चीज कॉमन है विद दिस सेट C दैट्स व्हाट दिस सेट पार्ट रिप्रेजेंट्स ऑल राइट आई होप दिस एग्जांपल्स वुड हैव क्लियर्ड अ फ्यू कांसेप्ट्स एंड इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू बी वर्किंग विद सम वर्ड प्रॉब्लम्स सो आई विल सी यू देयर इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो थैंक यू फॉर वाचिंग